Welcome to chapter one. Um, as we go through this text, and you know, I do these recordings for each chapter, uh, I want them to function as kind of a primer for your reading. And to that end, uh, I'm not going to go through absolutely every slide in the PowerPoint or every page in the book. Uh, you're all grown-up people and have the gift of reading, so that's a, a good thing. Um, what I would say is that um, I'm looking forward to using this time, and the, I'll try to make these very short, or very pointed, I should say. Short is a, not the right word, but just very pointed, as an indicator of what to really look for when you go through a particular chapter. Um, and then, you know, as you hook those, as you do your reading, then uh, it, you, you'll be um, pointed in the right direction, for lack of a better term. So in this chapter, this chapter one, is as most textbooks are structured, is a broad overview of kind of all the functional areas and uh, descriptive areas of marketing. And let's take a look at, so the chapter questions or which are the kind of the, what you should know or what you should be able to understand when you're done reading it. You know, you know why is marketing important, scope, and so on. And let me just say, to, to kick this off, and, I, and I, I'll kind of walk through these um, questions for you, at least from my perspective. Now, the book might take a slightly different one, but um, let me suggest that marketing is important because, you know, it's changed a lot over the years, uh, it's, you know, certainly from, you know, and it's probably, when you're done with the course, it will probably change in your mind as what marketing really is. I mean, oftentimes, even in industry, it's marketing is shorthand for advertising. And that is definitely a function of marketing, or marketing departments do tend to work on advertising. Uh, but that's just a, a very small part, in reality, of how they should function. Now, how they do function oftentimes, like in an ad agency and things like that, is truly as the marketing communications element of the tasks that marketing performs. And this is, a, uh, this is unfortunate because... It's sort of like, well, we're going to do all our all our product development. We're going to do, you know, manufacturing. We're going to do uh, R and D. We're going to do this, that, and the other thing. And then we're going to talk to marketing and figure out what we need to say in order to sell it. And that really denies the importance of marketing because marketing's fundamental purpose, at least at at a if you're going to fully utilize marketing is that it is everything. It is the only, and I'll use department in, in, in a loose term right now, because it's really everybody's job in an organization, but marketing's fundamental activity is to understand the target market. I, I kind of want you to wean yourself out of saying, um, you know, customer. And while that is technically correct, a better phrase or a better term is target market because everyone might not be your customer. And it just focuses your mind a little bit better on to whom are you extending your efforts in order to generate cash flow. Okay, it's to sound really business-like, that's really what we're after here is the better we can understand what the market, the target market likes, what it dislikes, where it goes, what it thinks, um, who they are, how are they descriptive, how are they changing, um, what are their moods, you know, anything that can describe the market and what motivates them, that's what marketing is interested in. And the ability to gather that information has become easier and overwhelming at the same time, as we'll talk about, as you'll, especially in the, the uh, secondary book that you're going to read, um, you know, the advent of social media and its power is really, from a marketing standpoint, from a, from a business standpoint, is to gain information about consumer behavior. But that's kind of down the road a little bit. So marketing is important because it's the only function that really is purpose-built to give us information about the target market. And if we don't please our target market, in, and if we fail to do that, I don't care what business you're in, and if there is a uh, competitive offer, meaning I don't need to, there's more than one restaurant in a town. Uh, unless you grew up in a small town like I did and there was probably one restaurant, 
you know, they can pretty much do what they want because you've got a captive audience. But most markets are hotly contested and very competitive. So the idea that you can get away with just doing whatever you like is uh, not a good one. So um, marketing is designed to pull that information out and to make it digestible and help at a strategic level, help decision makers make decisions about pricing, distribution, customer service, uh, all the functional areas, even who they should hire, uh, I would maintain or submit to you. Because if you want to you hire people that are going to help you serve your target market, you don't want to hire people that are going to offend your target market. So this is a as much a function as it is a mindset in saying, okay, what, ex what are our goals? What are our goals? Repeat that over and over again. What are, what are, we, what are we doing here? What's the point of this? And if it doesn't take on, ultimately, a view from the target market, you're missing an element in your decision making. So the scope of marketing is very broad. Uh, and more and more CEOs are coming from the marketing area because, because of that very fact. Uh, the fundamental concepts, when you read through it, they're things like target marketing. And we'll talk about, we'll talk about all those fundamental concepts as we work our way through the... Uh, these chapters that come up, um, you know, you know, successful marketing management comes from constant pursuit of the target market and constantly um, having your finger on the pulse of that market, and that's that's really where where it stands. At, and at the same time, I would suggest having an, an eye on those uh, environmental factors that we cannot control, like competition government regulation, economic factors, and so on. So really marketing and business strategy are, you know, intertwined very, very closely. Uh, so anyway, as you read through chapter one, this is the broad sweep. So this should give you, and, and don't be freaked out by it right away because, you know, it's so broad and so much. We're going to dissect it as we move along here in more digestible chunks. So enjoy reading chapter one and uh, I will talk to you soon about chapter two.